because uh, I drove, right, I, I liked it, you know what I mean? And I've seen how important it is to the communities. But when I seen it in the dockyard, I was determined that boat wasn't going to go for scrap. The ferry at that time would have been like the, the number three bus going by. It used to call over, come from Hatches Corner, go back to the north side, you'd see the dockers getting on. And sometimes if it wasn't busy during the day, we'd ask the man, could we go on board? And of course the dockers would go on and you'd hear all these stories about what went down during the day and where they're going. And so you'd hear that whole little world and you were fascinated by it. That was the culture. It was the whole marine culture. I'm not a man into fate, but sometimes things happen, these fall in place. Jimmy Murdy was only about 12 and he got on the ferry and I let him drive it. So he stood me up in a little stool and I'm like that hole in the wheel and I'm looking out and I says, and he says, now see that lamppost over there, which is still there today. We're coming from the north side. Keep the bell on that, he says, and don't do, when I tell you the torn two or three spokes, he says, then you'll alter in. And well, we got halfway across, I keep the bell and I concentrate on it. And to me, it was this amazing world. Look at me, I'm the captain. So Jimmy got to go with the ferry, and he said he fell in love with the ferry that day, that he was determined somewhere along the line, he'd have something to do with it. As life went on, I always loved the ferry. The ferry went out in 1984. It stopped on the day the East End Bridge opened. And I actually was on duty on the pilot boat. I was up here looking at the bridge opening up on, from the pilot boat. And it was looking at me old ferry going boy. It was a sad occasion. But I, I used to have my eye on them and said, they're not going to go. So as life went on, the Liffey ferry moved off and she landed up and they were falling apart. I would say if I hadn't taken it, it would have been in the scrapyard two weeks later. That's how bad it was. Even the dockyard personnel were kind of shaking their heads when they see me working on it, like, mm, what's the act, you know? It took a lot of time, so I'd spend, I didn't go over there for an hour, I'd be over there six hours, seven hours, you know? Long time. A lot of hard work on it. I think I put down about 20 grinders. He worked on a Himley Stone and he brought it back to the way the ferry was then. It was great to see, and it was great getting back on the river. I was proud and that love for the ferry again is, wow, you know, she's back there, you know what I mean? The positive thing about this is history back. It's a service back on the River Liffey. It's gonna help the next generation because it's also a training vessel. So the next generation of fathers and grandfathers will be very proud to see their grandsons or granddaughters driving, becoming skippers of the ferry or crewing the ferry. The new generation need to have that door opened to give them an opportunity to say, look, there is work here. There is long-term sustainable employment. There's a skill here, there's an education here. Your fathers and grandfathers earned a living from the port and the river. This is your opportunity.